Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Fears to Fathom, Carson House. So the Fears to Fathom series is a series of horror games based off of supposed true stories involving home invasions and people who survive them. This is the third game in the series called the Carson House, and in this one we've been paid to homesit someone's house, only to find we have an unwelcome visitor. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm saying this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. But I remember this incident like yesterday, as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days. And he had somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. So the first of Fathom series, you know, they're, they're based on supposed true stories. Uh, I think these stories were like posted on the internet, so I'm not sure if they're tied to any actual like news articles. So are they fully true? Who knows? But they make for good horror games. I'm just kind of chicken things around here. Can I play this, by the way? I'm just gonna go down here. Ooh. Okay. Yes, yeah, this, this is a normal. This is a normal occurrence. You live in the um, the Lonnie Machine dimension. Shift to sprint. Someone, uh, someone who wrote this story liked the back rooms, didn't they? Oh, I got some change, thank god. Useless. Here's a person. You okay? Bleach. What? Excuse me? You want some bleach? Where'd you put it? What is this place? Where is bleach? I need bleach. What is even this place? Who are you? I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah! Not time's over. We're over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. It's a dream. Noah, wake up. You still think you can do this? Okay. Makes a little more sense now. I got this, Dad. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. Like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. Math notebook. Uh, if you want to hear some, like, actually, like, true, like, legitimately true stories that are, like, weird or creepy, like, you gotta, like, talk to my dad. Like, they give you just a- oh, you almost hit me! Hey, come back here! Come back here! Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. It's my neighborhood. Um, like, they give you just, like, a small excerpt of, like, one, uh, story. 
there was one time someone actually broke in his house. Well, before he got, you know, before he got back, he wasn't there. Uh, and he knew this because when he got back home, there was, you know, well, he had signs that the house was broken into. So, like, his first instinct was to go to the kitchen to get, grab a kitchen knife. Well, he goes to the kitchen, there's no kitchen knives in the drawers, they're all gone. Um, so he finally checks the bedroom, and all the kitchen knives were on the bed. Um, and the window was open. So they, they had waited to ambush him when he got back home, but he, he got back home too late, so he missed them. That, that, that's, there's more to that story, but that's the context I'll give for now. Backyard. Can I go through here? There's a bike. I had to take care of the house. You sure about that? Can we just take the bike? That car keeps going around. I don't like that. I think it's the same one. Okay, no. That's a different car, right? No, no it's the same one. Hmm. They got like a little pool back here. Nice. Feeling refreshed. I got a little wet. I threw a frisbee. It disappeared into the grass. Because the grass is a void and nothing ever comes out. I threw a can. Oh, there's a dog. I can... You can pet the dog. Confirm it. Good dog. Fake rock key. Can we go in for the back door or do we get the key and go to the front? No, it comes from over here too. Okay. Can we lock doors? I think I'm just automatically locking. Um Do not disturb for any reason. I'm disturbing. I had the pee. No you don't. We're gonna snoop. This is the, um, this is not the Unity House, but like, I, as soon as I see like that fireplace, I'm like, okay, I know where we are. I'm drinking your milk. Semi-skimmed? Ugh. I really had to pee. No, you don't. We got here. Save the planet. I'm a good house sitter, by the way. You should know this. You can trust me 100%. This is just redecorating. I'm doing them a favor. Getting lay on the house around. This is going to be important later. In case um, some stuff goes down. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Seems that way. Hmm. You have a bathroom facing the front street. I don't like that. Oh my god. You missed the toilet! Or I'm missing the toilet, apparently. Mr. Carson wasn't gonna like that. It wasn't me. It was, it was it was the home invader. That's that's the real twist. Text message. Hey, someone's got a cat. The weirdest dream ever. Cat. Thank you for taking the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early, Mr. Carson. My bad. It's Roy. I got this contact from Walter. Work is really the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha. -ha. It's my dad. Damn. Damn. I would have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke?
Boy's been a little sick lately. Is someone else here? Oh, I'll take care of him in the house. Now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll take care of the house. I'm getting some lights on in here. Never mind. Your lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. He gave his dog food from the basement. Right on it. Oh, Zeke's the dog. Zeke's a good dog. Mr. Carson's bedroom has this weird smell of wet clothes. Nine fifty nine. Are you already playing scary music? Nothing's happened yet. Can open from here. That um, the fact that I just pointed that out upsets me. Cause like, has something happened? Oh. Oh. Does the Crawford's office look like a good spot I could sit down to work at? Okay. Sure, let me just enter the spooky basement. The basement was a little too dark. What's the dog food? I almost forgot, I apologize for the lights in the basement. You grab a flashlight in the storage room upstairs, no problem. You shouldn't have told me that a long time ago. Okay, we get the flashlight. So far, nothing too weird. I mean, it's just a big house. That one car that was driving around kind of bothered me, though. Can't really tell. It's even with a flashlight. This is like the world's worst flashlight. I mean, I've seen worse in the horror game, but this one's. It's because it's not actually lightening things up. It's it's still like filtered dark. I guess this is dog food. I probably have to use the can opener on. Here. Good enough. Yep. Dog food. Here you go. Come eat. Let me make sure I properly dispose of this. Yeah, dog food. It's for dogs. They're the best dog, apparently. Bark. Okay. Well, you're satisfied. Hey, could Herford Walter, you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer's been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied into it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system up here? Uh, I think, yeah, we saw something about that, right? Close the basement. Don't want anything weird to happen. Have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. If you know what I mean. Thanks, kid. Okay, so... Turn this on. Roy Carson. Need a password. Anime. Meow. Cat. Two cats. Two cat?
Ellie Carson 5387. There we go. Welcome. Egg. Guess the flag. Recycle bin. Test one. Restore. Guide to being a better person. Talk and talk. Um. You made this using Windows Movie Maker, didn't you? Step one. Don't be rude. Okay. I got all that one. Being rude with the scourge people. Weird. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. Me to enjoy some happy images. It better be happy. Dog. Step two. Remain calm in any conversation. I'm still pretty calm. Now even when now even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? Yeah. The secret to being calm is not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. You have the text a little too close to the borders there. That's all we have for today. Guide to being a better Nick Rogers and Donald Lig Ligma. Damn. Free trial for limited period. Get full protection. Antivirus 96. Ooh, I can fix and clean my PC. Download now. But first I'm going to play Egg. Egg. Download Antivirus 96. So we're gonna die. We're gonna die because we downloaded like a Trojan. Perform full scan. Get the Kles virus. I think that's what that one's called. You have a lot of viruses, my friend. Risk high. Remove. That's our one of our system files. Can we play egg after this. Egg. From can start. Steel is missing for a computer. Please try reinstalling this program. Guess the flag works. Guess the flag. Not Raw Roar, I'm trying to guess the flag. Tumalo. Next. Country is this flag. Oh my god. Really? Wait, hold up. So you got the for now. Um, INET. INET 7. Hmm, we should really close that door. That's useful. Dogs just eating food. Things look fine out here. Well, you weren't kidding about the security system. Okay. Um, left one useless, right one. It's done. It was just some Trojan. I recommend you only download software from trusted websites. Tell them my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Oh yeah, so we're supposed to like work on our math work. Okay, we got watch TV.
Nice. Cat food? It's my favorite dish. It's super enjoyable and healthy. Doesn't that just look delicious? We can't eat Yum. this. It's raw. Raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. They're cooking cat food. I thought something moving over there. Okay, now, while that's cooking, we can work on an it really must just be Jeffrey sometimes. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, okay. a glass, and some milk. To start, we pour the milk into the glass. Sexy Squidward? So I think you should get the groceries before it gets dark outside. Here's some cash in my nightstand. Okay, now that the cat food is finished cooking, we can finally serve it. This looks amazing. Time to eat. I'm the hand merchant. Buy some hands. Don't have hands? I'll is that a JoJo reference? Too many hands to handle? I'll take them. I got the best hands. Only the highest quality hands for you. That's some good hands. Got too many fingers. I'll take them. Not good fingers. fingers. I'll give you more fingers. People love hands. They're great. I got so much hands. Amazing hands. I'll sell you good quality hands. Come on down today to buy some hands. I have nice hands. Yeah, I hand it to you. With some nice hands. Hello, I'm the hand merchant. Buy some hands. So, okay. Hands? I'll give you hands. Get some groceries. Hands Cash in his nightstand. I got the best hands. Only the highest quality hands for you. Oh, yes, I'm missing the hands. Clearly, I'm missing the best part. Your Chicago Kira. Money. If you try to look at something for yourself as well, it's on the house. Take Alex's bike, it's outside the garage. I was already gonna steal that, but I mean, take the bike, so, um, no need to tell me twice. Oh boy, I'm actually manually controlling the bike, that's sweet. Beep, 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 I control the road! The road is mine! That's right. There are other reasons I could have died that night. Did I die? I did, I think I, I did. The, the game was like, no, you're not letting yourself get hit by the car. Do, 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 do. Well, here I am. Hi there. How you doing? Trying to leave? Ah! My bike. How dare you? I had just stolen, I mean, borrowed that to get some groceries. Anyway, cut a music festival. Well, lady. Have you been having strange dreams? 
please call 971. People aren't very good looking in this town. Have a heart. Get ice cream now. Yes. How you doing? Doing good, you? Doing good. Use the shopping basket. Oh, sure. Speak of the devil. Turn her in, Andy. But your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he up to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something, you know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more like a goth. Goth milf energy. Wait, what? When will you grow up, Turner? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? I was sitting for this guy, Carson, tonight. I mean, Alex? He goes to my school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Whatever fills my pocket, I'm in for. Alright, dude, see you at school Monday, then. See you around, Andy. Back in high school, Turner was the class clown. Put it back. No. Quit it, kid. No. Why? Because you're in a video game. Okay, so what do we need? I should like probably focus on actually doing my stuff. Okay, so ranch, strawberry jelly. Okay. Strawberry jelly. This. Milk and eggs, garden peas, honey. Hey son, do you work here? No, I'm just here shopping. Okay, son. Why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. It's right behind me. Do you know where it is? Hold on, let me get it for you. Oh, how nice of you, but right over here. Here. Wait, is that mustard in your basket? Can you give me one too? I... <laughs> is that how this is gonna get to go down? Very well, there it is. Ha! Ah! Give mustard. Thank you, son. Look, she's actually buying mustard. We're just coming early this year, huh? Okay. Alright, um... Milk and eggs. And it was like honey, right? Hmm. I don't remember about anything Mr. Carson didn't ask for. You sure about that? Mal. Ew, wait a minute. Milk. There we go. Um... And eggs. Okay, we got some eggs. What else do we list? Garden peas, honey. Um, garden peas, are they over here? Those are tomatoes. I'm assuming these are peas? Yep. I need some honey. Honey? My honey. I mean, here's ketchup. Here's honey. That's not Uncle Tony's brand. Oh, here we go. Uncle Tony's. Ryu. Useless. 
Okay, so we got... What? Yes, please. Looks like shopping at Nux. Knuckles? You have a good one. Alright, let's get out of here. Where's my bike? Okay. Oops. Dun 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 dun. Well, here I am. <laughs> yes, drifting. I fell off the bike. But I tried again. Wait, we can pull this off. Get my white car. I own this road. Damn. 9.46 p.m. Hold up. Got bulls off. Yes, 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 yes! Ah! Good enough. Okay, got the groceries. Still have a lot of score to catch up on. Alright. Let's just bring these groceries back in. Okay. If I get some schoolwork done. Do I have the flashlight anymore? It's a little upsetting. Can we grab that? Is it back here? No. Okay. Alright, let's do some work. Before I do that, though, let me... Dog sleeping in the house. Good dog. Egg. We just have to pee. Man, we're always having to pee in this game. It's a little... It's a little sus. I'm using your bathroom. This is not a bathroom, this is a walk-in closet. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I spilled. You call it spilling, I call it retaliation. Alright, done. Storm's coming. Oh, no. Someone found out I've been peeing on the floor. Dude, you see your Carson's right? You need to see this. Shut up, Roy Carson divorced on the internet right now. No, homework. I actually had to manually type that, by the way, so I'm like. We're feeling unlucky. No, oh, never mind. Roy Carson, co founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans of his ex wife. Oh no. It's not unusual for the audience to be nosy about some celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar to the case of Roy Carson, the CEO and co founder of BN Media. 
After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Elisa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Elisa Brown for rumored infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. So let's just say Roy Carson had been knocking on his door, had... You have a bag. Someone was at the front door. Check the back. Dog, get him! Do I? Temp fate? Maybe they know someone's here, they'll actually not break in. Right? Open. Who is it? Wow. Here. Take. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but... Do you think I can wait inside with the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Oh. I understand. You have a good day. Yeah, that's right. Run, boy. Don't, don't listen to what Manling does. Just opens the door wide. Takes pizza. Doesn't question things. Alright. Wait, what? That's sus. We go for some pizza. Should arrive in a minute now. Enjoy. Okay, so it was legit. And we have a weird TV show. Jack. Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. If you tell me what the radius of two squared is, I'll think about sparing you. Oh no. My name is Jack Bardens. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Can I use the bathroom? I only have no legs in this universe. Do people just float over the toilets? Freedom. God, it's like a political ad. What? The toilet man. Apparently, I should have been eating pizzas this whole time. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Hope everything's okay. Good night, Noah. So I get a cup of work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. Do we have to eat the whole pizza? My name is Cora. It seems that you have crossed my territory. I will have 
to the break the fabrics of reality now. Bye bye. See you in the meter alligator. Hold up. It hurts with the door, right? Or was that? We're gonna knock at the door. God, we're still chewing. Stop chewing! We need to fish off the pizza. Yeah. Turn off the TV so I can hear sounds. Who is it? Open it. Flowers? I didn't know what to make of it. I do. Well, let's go back upstairs. I don't send her. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? I assumed it was the wrong number. Just ignore it. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. I had a lot of work to catch up on. I mean, the basement is solid, so like... I shouldn't have to worry about too much about that angle. Unless he like gets in and goes to the basement. Finally get some work. One forty six AM. Wow. Was it move my squirt the power went off? Do we have a backup generator on this thing for the security? Oh no. Probably get the system back up on again. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Oh, you can be like that? I don't need you anyways. Todd is much hotter anyways. That's your ex. Who are you? I'm not certain I'm never prank my Turner. I just knew guys like him very well. Get the, uh... Dog. It was blinking like someone was intruding. Don't know. Am I supposed to have my flashlight right now? Dark's barking like crazy. This is risky, but I'm gonna step outside in case my flashlight dropped out there, because I've not seen it. Ugh. 
was suddenly very cold outside. Oh! It's a woman! Okay, fix the lights. I turned the power back on. It has to be Turner. You said we'd stay friends. Trez, it's not funny, I know it's you. I had to get back to my schoolwork. Sure you do. Hey, was everything like knocked over in that room before? It's a little bizarre. Maybe it was. Right. Just gonna do some schoolwork. And I strange feeling about the situation. You did? Might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. No! Egg. Just keep doing your homework. It's fine. They're not in the house. Behind you. Right now. To your right. I heard something downstairs. The oven's on. I could swear my life I didn't turn that oven on. You really need to get some, like, impact with security windows, man. I have to go down and check. I'm gonna, so there's a mic system, I have to be quiet. Let me just say real quick, this is like really bad luck, by the way. If you have your like stairs facing the door. It's like, that's like really bad in home buying.
Loki made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I had to confront him. Damn his contact, I can only gas Andy. He's returned his contact, ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's just stupid around the house, this is not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. I attributed all that to my lack of sleep. I know the movie's pretty, but it's tarpore, so he's stuck with a sleepover. I was aware I have a tendency of being overly paranoid. The illogical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. By the time I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that. That what? That idea never entered my head. Okay. Clear. 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 Dog sleeping peacefully. Clear. 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 Hell. Ooh, ho, ho. Doors open. Dude, wait, did you check out the article? It was pretty you told me about. Oh, this is real sketchy. Oh no! She's here. Oh, my heart skip a beat. What do I do? I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. Noah. She rushed through to the room I was in. She's got a knife! I felt my heart would pound around my, on my chest. Noah, are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever's happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Oh, but do we just need to talk? There's nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treat me like shit. You'd help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. It's... This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. You deserve a second chance. You know I could turn you into the police for this. Do an ammo. Uh oh. She's still... She's still right there. I can't have you. No one else should. Oh, you actually see her come up the stairs. I like got detail. So we actually can, like, watch her do the, uh, Hunting. Hold up, I have a plan. Hello. I can't leave. 
I thought it was that clever. Yeah, the flashlight was here, by the way. I missed you, flashlight. Whoa, 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 whoa! She's never ambushed me here before. I don't see the mic thing, so we should be fine. I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. By the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Caro was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. Have her two months into our relationship? Oh. I tried to get her help, but she turned around me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend to do anything wrong that night. Nope. Of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that... That nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Not long enough, apparently. Still in danger, buddy. Get out of there. So, that's it for Fierce to Fathom the Carson House. I think the Fierce to Fathom series is pretty good. This one is a little bit similar to the first one, although a little more draggy at some parts, I think. I think the first one is a little bit tighter. I don't think these games necessarily need to be um, longer. Maybe it's because of the nature of the story they got. Like I said, I'm not sure where they're getting these stories. I think they're like on like no sleep, like places like that, creepypasta kind of things. Or they're real stories and they, they've been embellished for the sake of gameplay, possibly. But home invasion or things like that, or stalkers or things, are very classical horror. They're very down to earth. These are real situations that do happen, whether or not this story is particularly true. And overall, I think the series, including this one, have a pretty good atmosphere. They do have a good pace in the actual scares part. Like I said, in this one, I, I think the buildup was a little too long because there was a lot of parts that weren't actually build up because we had two separate sitting down to watch TV kind of eating situations um multiple texting conversational situations and we had the the market side trip and nothing of really note happens during any of this there's no like weird noises or spooks or anything so i feel like you could have trimmed out some of those they didn't like add anything to the final scare so like if you're gonna do build up generally they're supposed to add something to the final scare but everything like after we came back from the market was pretty good and there was like a little bit of a twist to it uh you know like it wasn't a random person it wasn't a serial killer or anything well a potential one anyway is is what it became but uh it was someone you knew 
you know, someone who specifically was targeting you. So I will give them some credit. They did establish some paranoia initially with like the car driving around, um, the article, stuff like that, the, the pizza guy. I, I like that stuff. And then they do like a little switcheroo on you. It's like, oh, it's, it's your ex. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching Play Fears of Fathom Carson House. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.